Uh, howdy from Long Haul. It's uh, February uh, 5th or something like that. Uh, about a pretty warm, sunny day, about 8 or 9 degrees out. Uh, and uh, just going to demonstrate how we've been uh, keeping our road open. We live two miles up an old logging road. Uh, this is our first full winter out here. Um, so, so far we've been able to keep the road drivable uh, uh, very, well, pretty cheaply. Uh, we don't have a plow or anything, but anyway, it's been kind of a light snow year. Um, but still, as you can see by the uh, uh, snow here, there's significant accumulation, you know, over over two feet of accumulated snow where it hasn't fallen off of our roof and stuff so uh, so anyway we've been plowing with I don't know how good it's gonna be on the video I don't know if you can even hear me because this motor but uh, we've been plowing with a little Toyota and this setup that I built which is just uh, it's just three old railroad ties they're you know eight feet long each they each weigh uh, over 100 pounds or probably you know close to 200 pounds each um, and they're spiked together with some heavy you know 12 inch spikes um, and I reinforced it with a piece of old old roofing and a bunch of nails there in the front where they connect together because it was falling apart uh, even with the spikes and uh, then I just did some uh, we got a couple inches of fresh snow last night that's why I'm about to plow and Really, you got to keep up with it. Obviously, I can't, you know, if it if it gets above the uh, clearance of the car, you know, then uh, I can't keep up with it. So I got to plow at least every four to six inches, you know. Uh, so anyway, I just put some lag bolts in there with uh, washers and a chain, and then have the a chain hooked to a tire, which takes out a lot of the uh, stress on when you hit bumps and stuff, or when it when it you know it takes a lot of the jerkiness out absorbs the shock uh, and then just two cables hooked to the the car there so I don't know how good this is gonna um, look and you know it's it's different than well anyway I don't know it's different than a plow because with a with a plow you know you I don't know I, I mean I haven't used plows much but it just seems like hydraulics and stuff like that they're expensive and they tend to break and well, if this thing breaks, I can just nail it back together um, or replace one of the junk parts that I have. I mean, all the stuff that I used for this, I probably paid about 20 bucks for total. Mostly got like, you know, stuff, old chain and old cables and from uh, garage sales or state sales or whatever. The railroad ties I got for free, paid a couple bucks, a few bucks for the spikes. Um, but anyway, yeah, you know, it seems like our road is so lumpy and unmaintained and uh, ruts and rocks and stuff that seems like I would be likely to break a plow if I was using it. Um, so this, you know, it doesn't do as good a job as a plow because uh, because of the uh, how long of a stretch that is, it ends up, you know, wobbling back and forth like this way and that, you know, um, and makes kind of a zigzag sort of formation. But the whole setup, you know, is 12 feet wide as it is from from that tip to that tip so even if it goes back and forth a little bit it keeps the road at least you know wide enough to drive a truck down so um, anyway I'm gonna try to see if you know I was thinking it'd be cool if somebody like stood in the back and videotaped but I don't really feel like um, well I don't really have anybody around for that so I mean my wife Amelia is around but She's taking care of our baby Genevieve, so uh, anyway, I'm just going to stick the stick the camera out the window and see if it, you know, shows the, uh, what's going on here.
That was the first uh, quarter mile of our road. I don't know if you can even see that or whatever. Um, I'm my wrist is getting extremely cold because I have uh, you know just I gotta put a chopper mitt on or something. Just got this work glove. Okay, maybe I'll film more in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, I put a uh, chopper mitt on, and I, I just watched the video and. It actually looked pretty, looked, looked okay, I don't know, I mean, you can't really see, it'd be better if somebody was filming in the back of the truck, but maybe this is interested, inter interesting enough for uh, me to put on YouTube and somebody might be bored enough to watch it. Um, I mean, you know, what do you do when you're bored? You go on YouTube, right? That's what I do. Um, okay, well, uh, so here, I'm going to try to go on the rest of our road. Watch out for the branch. Woo. I gotta dip every once in a while, you know, to watch out for all these branches that my arm is about to hit because I haven't trimmed back the branches enough. Uh, ooh, as you can see, it's a really beautiful day, you know. Woo, watch out. Ooh. I should probably not. Probably shouldn't be looking at the camera. Probably should be keeping my eye on the road. Woo -woo. Yeah, you know our, our road's pretty bumpy and gnarly, but you know actually it's uh actually it's a lot better than uh, I don't even know if you can hear me. I don't know, but this is probably better. Say our road is actually a lot better. Um, in the winter when I'm doing this because the the snow is kind of like white gravel you know or I don't know like some old timer told me that that's what loggers used to call it you know you kind of like pave over the white gravel you know you'd, with one of these dealies and it fills in the ruts you know and uh, actually makes it so I can drive faster it's kind of cool yeah we're almost to the halfway point of the road This is the only spot right here. That, that that was the only spot right there where I actually have to go uphill on the way uh, down the road, which, you know, when I'm pulling just two inches like this, it's not a big deal. Um, but when I'm, uh, you know, when there's like six inches or I think the most I've done is maybe eight inches of snow. And uh, it, was, it was rough getting up that hill with that much snow pulling behind this uh, thingy, you know, plowy, a drag dealy thing. But yeah, luckily uh, most of our road is downhill most of the way, so it's a lot easier getting back up with the A-drag once I already have the, you know, trail broken with the plow. There's no way we'd be able to drive up here if it wasn't right now, if it wasn't for this. I mean, there's, you know, like I said, like two feet plus of accumulated snowfall so far, which is a light year, but, you know, it's still some snow. Woo! You can see, you can kind of see the, uh, I don't know if you can hear me, but you can kind of see the uh, zigzag pattern that it makes where it's been bouncing back and forth. You might be able to see it bouncing back and forth, I don't know.
Woo! Oh, holy cow. Yeah, I gotta trim back some of these branches. I can't really hold my arm out there the whole time because of these branches. This is kind of an interesting part of the road. See, our, our road is actually, um, like I said, it's an unmaintained logging road. And uh, it's, uh, so right now, right here, we have an intersection. And uh, this intersection is actually the uh, state snowmobile trail. Um, it's, uh, so the snowmobile trail comes from, you can't really see it, but I'll pull up a little bit. You can't, uh, it comes from over there. You see state trail. And then it actually, uh, merges with our road right here and for an eighth of a mile the uh, this is the uh, North Shore State Snowmobile Trail uh, uh, in Minnesota State Trail uh, anyway so hopefully I won't run into any snowmobilers right now I haven't actually ran into any snowmobilers with the plow yet but I'm wondering because the plow is the plow is almost as wide as the road is so I, I hope I don't run into any snowmobilers because uh, that you know they'd have to to move out of my way because I'm bigger than them. So anyway, we actually originally we got a here we go. They they actually have a stop sign. I don't, but I usually stop because I don't want to you know get, like I mean I would probably win if a snowmobiler ran into me, but you know um, I still don't want to you know run into anyone so and actually the trail groomer the, just the snowmobile trail groomer does an excellent job of keeping the road nice and flat it's like amazingly flat compared to what it is in the summer when it's all rocky and ruddy and rocky and stuff we actually originally bought a snowmobile to access the property and that's what we did the end of last winter um, but we were gone for a good chunk of last winter, so like I said, oh, and here's where the here's where the trails uh here's where the trails oh whoop uh so that's our road that's the snowmobile trail can't see that very well oh uh, yeah our road snowmobile trail it goes off to the right again anyway so it's it's a pretty short stretch there but but uh when we yeah when we bought the uh, well yeah like I said we bought a snowmobile last year and we were we were gone for most of the uh, good chunk of the winter just got back at the at the end of there um, so we um, we weren't able to keep the road open obviously uh, we just so we bought a snowmobile and we got back and we that's how we got to and from it's a pretty long hike we've hiked it and actually when I was moving in you know we hiked like all our stuff up here and uh, so we were moving in in late uh, April two years ago uh, there's still like you know three feet of snow everywhere, so we snowshoed and hauled sleds in. I don't know if you can hear any of this or not, but uh, yeah, after doing like 30 sled loads or so, you uh, you know you get kind of like man, wow, do I really just want to be hauling sled loads of stuff all my life, or should I just kind of figure something out, like get a truck or a machine or something to do it for me? you know and maybe oh well okay I don't have enough money for like a really nice truck with a really nice plow well uh, okay let's just uh, figure something out like putting some old railroad ties together I guess I probably could have afforded a plow but I didn't really want to because I try to do things cheaply so I can save money so that I actually still have money to buy some things, you know, and stuff when I need them. Well, anyway, that was a video of most of our road. It kind of cut out there at the end because uh, my camera's actually our phone, too. So, uh, yeah, I got a phone call, which is kind of funny that I was even getting reception down here. But apparently it cuts out automatically when you get phone calls. So... Uh, yeah, as you can see though, this is uh, kind of what was going on 
is uh, you can see it just uh, you know it's only a couple inches of snow but it uh, knocks it away and uh, yeah anyway we're at the bottom of the road gotta go turn around now which is kind of the trickiest part of the whole ever but I'm gonna go do that okay